here. I am not a fanboy. I'm just a dude in a hot tub with some yiddies. I'm still a guy. Today I'm going to be talking about hot tub streams, a hot topic in the content creation community recently. Oh brother, this guy stinks! Basically a new form of streaming has emerged on Twitch where people, mainly women, sit in a hot tub in beach attire while interacting with their chat and doing some fun and sometimes questionable activities. Can I really put my elbows under my belly button together? You what?! And it's received a lot of negative feedback, so I'm gonna give my stance on it. However, I'm a person who likes to experience things before I speak on them whenever possible. You know, don't knock it till you try it, you feel me? So I did some research on how hot tub streams work. Mmm, -hmm, interesting, interesting. Hmm, I see, I see. Ah, very education. I'm learning a lot right now. I... Definitely learning a lot right now. Golly! And I decided to do my own hot tub stream. First and foremost, you gotta dress to impress. Most hot tub streamers wear bikinis, so to get the full experience, I also wore a bikini. Uh, Mo, why did you add the tits though? Because if I'm in a hot tub, right? I gotta have the proper attire, you know? And what do people wearing hot tubs? Bikinis. Unfortunately, the bikinis came with the titties, you know? It was a package. I couldn't have the bikini and not have the tits. So here we are. Okay, no show. Keep it real with me. 32C? Um... I don't know. What, what do y'all think? Y'all think I'm a C cup? I'm definitely... I don't think it's bigger than a C. It might be like a B, if I'm being honest. I set up some fun rewards for the people in the chat based on rewards I saw in other hot tub streams. I think I talked about the rewards. You, you've seen some of them. So there's a reward to get your name on the board. That's 5K. Uh, there's a 1K reward to get a smooch for me. Um, and I believe there's a 30K point reward for a girl voice with a voice changer. I think it was All Night and Chef. That, that requested the um be on the board so he would go all night you're now on the special people board and that boy chef galaxy kiddo is now on the board just warren peace is now on the board ice pixels is now on the board all right, all right kayo here you go have a nice kiss this one is for peace Dr. Smash is on the board. Welcome to the board, Dr. Smash. What's up, Justin? Here you go. He's the kiss, big boy. Mwah. Uh, all right, here you go, Jack. Have a nice big smooch. Name on the board. All right, here you go, Dom. Off the Dom is now on the board. AB2, Ibby verse is now on the board. Welcome to the special people board. Cypher, okay, Cypher, you are now on the board. Just Cypher. All right, Omelette, here you go. Here's your kiss. Mwah. Bro, it looks like I'm kissing Big Mom's tip. <laughs> and I brought some of my hot friends over. Because based on my research, it looks like hot tub stream collabs do very well. You guys already revealed both anime baddies? Okay, so Matt and Warren redeemed the anime baddies. Um, there's only two. Because I can only, you know, call two in time. So anime baddie number one is the girl Big Mom. Hello, Big Mom. Welcome to the hot tub. Anime baddie number two is Kokoro. Welcome to the hot tub. Wait, oh, oh, wrong button. There we go. There's the baddie. What do you mean boo? Who is booing? Who, who's booing? Who's booing for Kokoro? Who, who is it? Who was it? Most of the reasons people bring up against them don't seem legitimate, and I'll go through the three main ones I've been hearing. If you disagree, feel free to comment how you see it. I'm always down for a civilized discussion. Number one, hot tub streams are dangerous slash inappropriate for younger viewers. Yes, I agree that girls in bikinis is not a good thing for young kids to see. However, if we're gonna say that we should stop people from doing hot tub streams because we wanna protect kids from that stuff, then a lot of stuff that happens on Twitch should also be stopped. Think of all the R18 games people play on Twitch, the R18 movies being watched, the foul language that's used, all stuff that I am guilty of and there is no way I'm gonna change how I talk or what I do on stream to protect kids. That's the responsibility of the parents and guardians of those children. Twitch is for people who are 13 years and older and Twitch streamers have the ability to mark their streams as mature content to show viewers that this is not intended for children and if you are a child you should be supervised with an adult when watching and most hot tub streamers do mark their streams as mature 
mature contest so in my opinion they're doing their due diligence they're doing everything they can do to stop children from seeing this mature content like i said the responsibility falls on the parents and guardians to protect their kids and stop them from watching things they shouldn't be watching number two twitch is for gaming if this was 10 years ago i would 100 percent agree with you but twitch has evolved from a site catered to gaming content to where you can share just about anything on stream there are so many kinds of streams you can see on twitch nowadays whether it be cooking music dance tutorials i've even seen someone do woodworking on twitch before so the statement twitch is made for gaming is kind of outdated now i'm not saying that gaming isn't a majority of what's watched on twitch however the most viewed category is just chatting so i think that goes to show just how much twitch has changed over time based on what people watch there number three it's bad for twitch as a business i call big cap on this. Twitch is a website with a predominantly cis male audience. And what's something that most cis men enjoy? Women, especially women in bikinis submerged in water. Trust me, a girl partially submerged in water is much more attractive than a girl who isn't. And let me give you an example. Here we have Big Mom, certified anime baddie. Throw a little water on her and boom, she's even more attractive now. <laughs> hey girl. I heard you got 43 husbands. I'm trying to be number 44. Just call me Barack. Anyways, hot tub streamers pull in lots of people to watch cause sex sells. Hot tub streamers make easy money through subs, bits, and donations to do menial tasks like say someone's name or write a name on a board or a part of their body. And Twitch makes bank off that. So there's no way in hell Twitch would ban people who do hot tub streams. And after finishing this stream, here are my thoughts. Honest, cause it's easy money for them. You're not gonna get rid of people that bring you money. Now, of course, there's the whole issue of ad revenue cause most advertisers don't want their products being displayed on streams with half naked girls, which is a blow to the money Twitch make. And that's evident with how Twitch removed Amarath's ads from her channel. And their solution for the time being at least is giving hot tub streams their own category, where I'm assuming they limit the kind of ads that get shown in that category, which is not a bad fix for Twitch cause now they can make the hot tub money and keep their ad money. All in all, I don't really see a reason to be mad at people who do hot tub streams. If you're a streamer and you feel that hot tub streams are taking away from you, honestly, I think you're just jealous and insecure of your content. You can't blame other people's success regardless of how they got it for your shortcomings. And to the people who aren't streamers and think that hot tub streams are ruining Twitch, you're not obligated to watch them. Hot tub streamers have no effect on the streamers you watch, just ignore it and keep it pushing. Cause honestly, these hot tub streams aren't as easy to do as you think. I did one for memes and the people in my chat are mostly people I know, but even I was getting wild comments. Humana, humana. <laughs> Such a baddie. I know it. Sheesh. You're a Don't say. Let me get a taste. <laughs> nice boobies, my nigga. Don't you looks like a twit. I don't know if I can say the whole thing. You mean a twink? I got a kiss by no girl, Momo. <laughs> nice boobies. Stop saying nice boobies, guys, bro. My eyes are up here, bro. Not down here. Uh, what about some sloppy? There is no sloppy reward. Um, there will never be a sloppy reward. Can I redeem some neck? Hell no. No should make me act up. Please don't say that, Jack. Fat milkers, my guy. Not like this. Uh, no girl Momo, give me your number. No, sir. You're not getting my number. Who, who decided on the on the name no girl Momo? Where did that come from? Why is everyone saying that? I want a no girl in every stream. Fuck no show. Why, why are you gonna be like that, bro? Fuck no show, bro. Now we fucking know. Hey, hey. No, nobody is doing anything to me, you weirdos. No girl Momo, I want to taste now. Open Bob. Bro, imagine actually being a hot tub streamer and having to deal with this. People are just like, shut up woman, show me your tits. Bro, it's rough being a girl on Twitch, bro. But this is the meta, bro. If I wanna if I wanna be on the top of Twitch, this is what I gotta do. You know, sacrifices gotta be made. Pixel spin, what if it's just a show of a G? <laughs> what is that emo? The gamer is thick too? I mean, that's a thick emo. Now, this is your highest point? This is definitely not my highest point. This is definitely not my highest point. Um, and Pixel is not spitting. I don't even have one to show, first of all. Okay, so let's, 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 let's calm down. <laughs> Whoa, you, is that how you guys talk to regular girl streamers, huh? You guys go to hot tub streams and demand bobbin vagina? Huh? That, that, that's, that's what you guys do? You guys should be ashamed of yourself.
So I already know that people who do hot tub streams legitimately get even more insane, disrespectful, and perverted comments. I know it's a thing that's not gonna stop, and unfortunately, there are people who think they deserve these kind of comments, which is fucked. Absolutely, I think getting comments like this are to be expected when you're streaming on a site full of toxic weirdos and gamers, but at the end of the day, hot tub streamers are real people with feelings just like us, and I don't think they deserve the fucked up things that people say to them. I'm never gonna hate on someone who's just chasing a bag. Once once again, if you disagree with what I'm saying, feel free to give your opinion, your point of view in the comments below. I'm always down to hear out other people's opinions as long as it's done respectfully. As always, if you made it this far into the video, thank you. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. And if you want to see more of my content, feel free to subscribe. I'm super close to 500 subs, so I'd greatly appreciate it. On that note, I will catch y'all later. Peace.